Okay. <laughs> so sorry for the delayed start, everyone. Um, sorry, Rose, uh, can you hear me okay? This is my first time doing this all by myself, so I'm, we're kind of working through it. How's it sounding? Can you hear the game sound? Can you hear me okay? Is anything too loud, too soft? What do you think? Sounds good. I probably raise your volume a little or lower the game volume a little. Okay, let me take a look. Um, I can do that. Just so you heard a little bit louder than me. That's fair. Turn down the game a little bit. Play Final Fantasy X Part 2? <laughs> yeah, fucking right. <laughs> Okay, I turned down my volume a little bit. Uh, let me know if um, if the balancing needs to be changed again. But uh, other than that, we'll uh, we'll probably get started here. So, okay, perfect. Hi everyone, uh, welcome. My name's Michael Zarin, and welcome to Four Plays' spicy new segment, Solo Mode, where one of us plays with ourselves. Just not like that. So, with that being said, today I'll be playing Final Fantasy X, which is my personal all-time favorite game. If you know me, uh, you know that this game has had just... Uh, I, it's even hard to describe. It's such a profound effect it's had on me as a person. Um, just from, from gameplay, to story, to, uh, to themes, to the, just the amazing music that's in this game. It's been in my life since I was a kid, and um, when I first started dating Whitney, I remember um, that was around the time when the the actual remaster for this game came out, I think it was 2013, and so it kind of re-sparked that, uh, that love for the game, and I was able to share it with Whitney, and uh, yeah, so it's still with me today, and yeah. So, I've always wanted to do this kind of thing before, where I can... It, it's so sad, because there's so many people who I wish I could share my love of this game with, and um, now I feel like I can maybe have that chance to Maybe not everyone, but those who decide to come into the, the stream or the YouTube VOD to come and w watch the show, I can share my love for, and appreciation for the game, and this can kind of be a place where we can all just um, share the love of the game that just has always given back to me personally, and so maybe I can give that back to some other people, right? So, with that being said, um, we are going to do a playthrough of this game today. Um, whether or not we do optional content is up in the air. If anything, I'm going to save that until post-game, like... I'm not going to be doing any of the uh, the optional bosses unless maybe after um, I'm not burnt out and still feeling like it, going going off to beat Penance and, um, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, as far as spoilers go, um, this game's story is fantastic. And I know we just played this, we did a little tease on this on 4Play Favorites recently, um, but for the sake of this actual playthrough, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> I'm not the best about spoilers, but I'm going to do my very best to kind of let the story unfold itself as it goes along. So, if you are watching this in the show, or like in the live stream, and you want to talk about it, you feel, feel free to do so. Just please be careful for those who have not played before to just be careful about spoilers. Cool. He said the thing. Yes, sure. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get started, everyone. Michael, why does Yuna have a gun? That's in Final Fantasy X Part 2. We, there's, there's a lot that could actually be said about that. But we'll get into that later. I'm just going to say this now. Um, the cutscenes in this game are wonderful. So I'm going to do my best to respect them and just um, not talk during them, right? We can kind of chat after.
All right. So, beautiful little uh, flash forward cutscene, right? Where we're in a desolate ruin. We saw uh, Titus's sword, Yuna's staff, and a Blitzball, right? You know, kind of looking over the land. Beautiful opener. Um, could have done it better myself. Let's see. What is this? Dandelion Floof says, Michael and Whitney, Titus and Yuna cosplay when? Not soon enough. It needs to happen right now. Oops, we're not going to do that. My My Rosalie says, what I'm hearing is we need to send you more money. No! No more money! Stop it! You better not send us more money. I'll be so mad. Oh, stink. That one, the first one was skippable. This one is not. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, I can at least read some chats while this plays again. Okay. Cute and bribable. <laughs> Dandelion Floof says, Everyone donates so as poor starving actors can cosplay. <laughs> This would be... I, I've seen some really good cosplay videos, particularly of Yuna, right? Of how to make her, her, uh, her dress. She's got a tough one. They all do. <laughs> I don't think a single one of these characters would be an easy cosplay, by no means. No, yeah, look at them. <laughs> We're back to feet pictures. Winklock says all donations go back to stream and stream is not cosplay. Except for when it's Rave and Mommy picks apparently. That's important. We need those, okay? You guys got me on <laughs> some shit. I, this is not how I wanted to start the first episode in this series, guys. <laughs> Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. King Shrek Sean says, what about her story, Michael? Well, that's what Final Fantasy X Part II is about. Right? You would know that. Okay. Let's get into it. Oh. So we have a, a ghostly figure, like a childlike figure. And there we are. For those of you who don't know, this is the first uh, Final Fantasy in existence. Well, the first Final Fantasy that received voice acting. Um, every Final Fantasy from this point forward featured voice acting, but this was the first. Now, that first opening line was probably the worst possible <laughs> example that, that you could have set it up the story with, but here we are. Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, 
I'll, uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row! Fifth from the right! Got it. Dandelion Floop says suplex them. No! I can't suplex them. They're my fans. Thank you for the autograph! Thank you for the autograph! Who directed her? Did she like hold her nose? Thank you for the autograph! Oh, sorry. Thank you for the autograph! Sorry, okay. Let's move on. Can you sign this? <laughs> no prop. Alrighty. Me too! Take it easy. How cool would it be to like have a blitz ball? I mean look at that thing. Right? I don't even know how you can make that. Like realistically. I think like realistically, if you were to make like a prop of it, I think you'd have to like chop pi uh, ping pong balls in half. And like put them on, maybe glue them, and then spray paint it. Maybe. I don't know. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three. She just had a blitz. Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, well, you can't tonight. I mean tomorrow. Mm. Promise? Promise. So, I do want to point out a couple of things. Um, on the actual Blitzball itself, as well as some of their t-shirts, if you notice, uh, there is a foreign language, and that is an actual language. Uh, for those of you who may have played this game before, there are uh, languages that were made one sec. <laughs> I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jacked, gone, vanished into thin air. My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. Okay, <laughs> so a couple things on that. Um, so there, there's going to be featured in this game a number of different scripts that were actually made as a language for this game, right? So we know, at least at this point, we have one. We'll be seeing another one very soon. <clears throat> another thing, um, I just stopped briefly there to not cut off the announcer, but one thing is pretty important to take away from that conversation, or that, uh, that dialogue from the, uh, the announcer, which is... Um, who we're playing as, Titus, um, who is considered the star player of the Xanarkand Abes at this point for his team, he's gotten there in one year, right? We also heard that Jekt is his father, and Jekt was a former star, right, in Blitzball. So, in just the one year that Titus has been playing, his father's um, skill, if you would, has been passed down to him. Right? So, let's continue.
I really like this theme. I could listen to it for a while. Make way, make way! Coming through, sorry. Hey! Hey, let go of me! And now we have our first uh, FMV. King Sh uh, Shrek Sean says, oh, look, a king. I agree. More on that soon. Okay, so let's kind of review, right? So a giant sea creature has launched an attack on Xanarkand, right? So what could this be? Why could this be happening, right? And here he is. Let's talk. Oren! What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? It begins. What? Don't cry. this 
this way. Look. My old man? I hope you know how to use it. These ones don't matter. We cut through. I gotta love how they um they show that Titus has absolutely no experience holding a sword, right? I thought, <laughs> nice touch. We also, if that, there's a line that's there that's easy to overlook. Well, there's a couple of them, right? We called it Sin. Right? First of all, why did we call it Sin? And who's we? Right? We also know that Jex has disappeared mysteriously based on the radio announcer, what he said. But he's given uh, Titus the sword. What a crazy design for a beast, enveloped in water like that. They did a good job. My my Rosalie, it's that tentacle monster again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, look at that thing. It's like, is it like a squid? You think? It's kind of squid life, but it like pierced the like the highway. I don't know. So as with many uh, JRPGs, if um, if you guys are familiar, the the combat at the beginning of them is pretty pretty mundane, right? It's more as they they throw things at you slowly because near the end of the game it starts getting a little bit more involved, right? And you need to be pretty familiar with your people and their abilities. So the game tries to give you everything nice and slow. Very typical in JRPG fashion. Some people like it, some people hate it.
I grew up um, playing JRPGs, liking them a lot, without really even realizing that what like game genres even were. I think the uh, the earliest um, one of the earliest uh, JRPGs that I played was Grandia 2 on the Dreamcast, right? And then I think it was Final Fantasy X maybe after that. What are you laughing at, old man? Nope. Lauren, let's get out of here. Weird expected. Huh? Give me a break, man. <laughs> yeah, dandelion floof. We're expected. New. I mean, that's that's got to be a terrifying sight. I mean, look how many of those pods flew onto the highway. Like fifty. I'd be terrified. Hmm. This could be bad. Knock it down. What? Trust me, you'll see. <laughs> if traffic is that backed up, I'd be terrified too. <laughs> I played Final Fantasy 3 on the DS. You guys remember that era? And... Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Go. This is it. This is your story. It all begins here. <laughs> Getting sucked into like an alien's butthole. Oh my goodness. And then look at this. We're swimming in, in air. This sounds like like some nightmare fuel. Like a really bad dream. I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was 
what I got myself into. I started to feel uh, lightheaded and then sleepy. I think I had a dream, a dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone beside me, so I didn't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> and then hearing your dad's voice and said alien booty. <laughs> Anybody there? Yeah, I mean. Oren! Maybe that's where he disappeared to. Hey! Let's see. Okay, so now, presumably, we're in the alien butt. Right. So let's let's dig in. Let's see what we can find in this this crevasse. Hopefully no poop. Maybe this is just the poop water. It's not really explained, at least at this point, like who Orin really is. But we do know that Titus and Orin know each other, right? At the, the infamous battle theme of this song. We'll be hearing this song a lot, and that's a okay with me. the goldfish. That's them. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and right there, that's the goldfish that ate all the other goldfish. Yep, right there. Has anyone here ever had any goldfish that ate the others? Any of your siblings goldfish? I feel like that's like a common story. It's a sad one. Dang, that hurt! What the heck? He must have hit me with a critical. Okay. I can't take another one of those. Maybe we won't have to. Oh, 
Oh. Nice rude awakening into the butthole, man. He must have the breath support of kings. Oh, Titus? <laughs> he can talk, too. Now we're out of the butthole. I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. Well, I was gonna say into the intestines, but okay. I thought I was gonna die in this place. My my Rosalie says, "How old is Titus in this?" Uh, Titus is seventeen at this point in time. So given um, what you what he's gonna be going through, you can imagine how hard it is on a 17 year old, right? Save, God forbid I do something dumb and die. I got some old look at this safe from 2015. Man, that's an old one. Yeah. Yeah, so you know what? I know I was talking earlier about um I think the actual remaster came out in 2013. And uh, this is around the time where Whitney and I started actually really talking and hanging out. This is probably uh, the same, if not a very similar, I think it's probably the same save as um, when we started hanging out. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wow, well, there's some history in that one. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think I also left my PlayStation at her apartment so she could play it, because I think she wanted to. Or, I might be remembering that wrong, because she I think she had a pl her own PlayStation at the time, and um, I think I just bought her a copy. That sounds more right to me, yeah. So maybe we were playing our own individual files at that point when we weren't together. Because I do definitely remember getting texts late at night when Whitney was <laughs> struggling with um, with some of the bosses later in the end game. There were some pretty tough ones. Okay, here we go. Jesus with a DK. Make the fire. Let's see. Got about six, seven people here today. Uh, thank you guys for being here on very, really no notice. Um, thank you for so much, guys, for supporting the channel. Uh, we are doing this so we can hit, uh, you know, our seven streams a month uh, goal so we can uh, be eligible to apply for affiliate. So your guys' support, even if you're not interacting or listening, just lurking, your guys' support is so appreciated for us. So thank you for giving me, really, the, be the, um, the privilege of doing this. Thank you. Yeah, that's real, man. Me too. What do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. 
Who? Me? You cried. An interesting cutscene. That is a terrifying beast right there. I guess the fire's gone. Give me a break! Yeah. I may need to move this camera at some point. You'll notice at the top right of the screen, my camera is currently covering like the turn uh, order. That's really not a big deal right now, but there may come a point in the actual game where I need to know the turn order. Um, just because there's certain things you can do to... some a Not all actions are equal. Some are faster and slower than others, and it affects the turn delay. So We'll see at some point if I can move that. Cool outfits. Are they on our side? Seems that way. You on my side? Cool. Yeah, certain items like grenades have the special effects when used. These items can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability use. Okay, let's try it out. A lot of damage. <laughs> ah yes, the sleep paralysis demon. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had sleep paralysis and... It sounds horrifying. So I talked earlier about there being uh, different languages in this game. Um, so this is the first one that you're really more introduced to. Um, so you'll notice in, in the subtitles, it's all scrambled. 
we have no idea what it is they're saying. So, as we'll uh, soon be discovering, there are ways to decipher the language. More on that soon. Kid, it died job. Hey, that hurts. Musujek, rain. Whoa. Okay. Kainis. Right. Whatever. Tuli hood kebeg. I said I don't understand. Fed! You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. <laughs> yeah, uh, caveman grunting. Yeah, essentially, right? I, I love his, uh, his performance there. It's pretty funny. Okay, so let's check this out. What is this? Obtained Albed Primer Volume 1. So, the secrets of the Albed language are revealed. Y equals A. So, find Albed Primers to help you decipher the strange Albed language. Right? And then it says something in Albed. Likely the same thing. So, we've achieved the rank of Albed... Huelia? Maybe? So, uh, there's 26 Albed primers that we can find all throughout the land. And once we get all 26, we can understand really everything. And you can even uh, upload them to uh, previous saves or future saves so that you can understand right from the get-go what everyone's saying. Right? So, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, almost forgot. The sphere grid. Uh, the infamous fear grid, which is the level up system in Final Fantasy X. Um, I think it's amazing. It looks very overwhelming. And it, ve it very much can be that so, but it's much more simple than it looks. Let's take a look. Okay. The cursor appears at the selected character's current position. Use the D-pad to move the cursor. Information on upgrades is displayed at the top of the screen, right? This So this one in particular is raising your defense by one point, right? The one right next to it lets you learn an ability. That one in particular teaches you cheer. So they're all called nodes. Okay. So characters are upgrading or upgraded by activating the nodes. Makes sense. A character must move near a node in order to activate it, right? So you can be on top of it, but more importantly, you have to be at least within like you have to be next to the node in order to activate it. So, let's try it. We're going to move up. So you can move um, the amount of nodes as um, S levels you have available to you. So right now I have four S levels, so I can move four nodes. Right? So characters must fight battles to gain AP, ability points, and obtain S levels, likely sphere levels, which are in turn used to move around the grid. In short, if characters don't participate in battles, they won't grow stronger. Fair enough. Careful not to move too fast, you may forget to activate a node you pass over, right? So we'll move up one. So, we have a number of different spheres, but we not all spheres go to the same thing. Right, so this sphere next to us is an ability. So in order to gain the ability, we need to use the ability sphere. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we've talked about that. Perfect. 
Okay. Yep, so... Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each character. That means a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving it to the same corresponding spear. Okay. So then we get an idea of their abilities and their stats currently by pressing triangle. And then we can switch between characters to take a look at where they are on the sphere grid. Yep, yep. Pretty massive, right? The actual sphere grid itself. So, we'll just... Before we do anything... Yeah, it's huge. It's absolutely massive. Now, we'll notice it's the same exact sphere grid, but Titus and our new friend, who hasn't been given a name yet, are just on different places on the grid itself, right? Even though, and look, even though Titus, oh wait, here, okay, so we'll go learn cheer over here. So Titus has now learned cheer. But when we switch to Riku, it hasn't been activated. Right? So that's because on his version of the Sphere Grid, he's activated it, while she has not. So she can essentially go down his skill tree path and learn the same abilities as him. But in order to prevent, like, uh, roll overlap, characters are given their own, like, designated uh, part of the grid. Right? So, yeah. Okay. That's good for now. My my Rosalie, you scared me with the Y equals A thing. I had flashbacks to algebra class. <laughs> oh, algebra algebra wasn't that bad. For me, it was chemistry. We found some ancient ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it, and then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's get to work. Roger. Yeah, I don't know about you guys and what classes was your favorite versus not. Um, science has and always likely will be my worst class. It's just something about it has just never stuck for me. Um, probably next to history. Um, names and dates, I just... They just do not stick with me. Um, so, you can imagine how well... Uh, names and dates transfers over to D and D, <laughs> as I'm sure you've seen. Just an FYI, um, I'm probably going to be ending this one a little bit sooner today. Um, in the future, I don't know if I really want to keep it this short, just because I feel like we just got started. But uh, today, this was more of a test run to see how everything would go. And, um, yeah, I'm actually uh, running off to a climbing competition here in uh, about an hour. So I think I'm going to go eat something, uh, make myself a coffee, make sure I'm all, all ready to go. So if I can just save. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. You didn't have the right chemistry teacher. My chem teacher fired... Did I read that right? Fired a mini cannon and lit flying bubbles on fire? What? Fired a mini cannon and lit flying bubbles on fire? What the fuck? That sounds crazy! I just got lectured about the fucking periodic table! And like all the protons and neutrons and neurons and all that garbage, yeah, in the classroom. I didn't even know you could light a bubble on fire. What? That sounds amazing. I'm jealous. That sounds like it would be an awesome time. What the heck? That's some piranhas.
think it's around here we need to go, right? What the? Okay. tentacle creature coming up. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty healed up, but I'll heal up a little bit more. Just in case. Okay. Certain commands become available in certain battles, or special commands, right? So press uh, left on the D-pad in the command window to access them. Okay. So that would be places like your overdrive, For now it's going to be standby. Okay. Swimming away. Give me another grenade. over there. Please don't hit her. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. She's still alive. And now is the part where I want to see the turn order. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'll just move you. Okay, so it's... Yeah, so check that out. So stealing is a longer action compared to if I hit use. Then you see how I would get another action at the very end of it. But I don't have any items that I can actually use right now. Okay, so let's just leave that there for right now. But if I use an item, I will get another turn, because it's a fast action. Okay. So we'll do that. Let's see if I can steal anything else. Nope, okay. Oh, but we do get an overdrive. Okay. I think I'm, just, I'm good with that, so I'll just move this back over there. Okay, let's try this. Let's get this right. Nice. Can't see. Where did oh did she go out this way? Okay, okay, I see.
So what is going on down there underwater, right? So it seems like we've activated some sort of, at least like the power to this machine. This, uh, whatever it is. Is that part of it down there? Oh, yeah. If I'm not mistaken... That might be something we'll see later in the game. More on that later. I've actually never taken notice of that. Hm. Oh, maybe you should put on your glasses. How dare you! you kn Where are my fucking glasses? I think they're, you know, they're right over there. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, you can't tell me you've noticed that, huh? theme we're hearing. Whoa! Right on! you say so earlier I didn't get a chance to everyone thought we were a fiend uh we oh we means you um who are you guys anyway we're out bed can't you tell wait you're not an out bed hater are you I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a Blitzball player. Uh, star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me. Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near Sin. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. 
They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Mm-hmm. Wha wha what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Okay. Yeah. So, a couple of things. First thing, we're going to address this. They reused the names. They just added a K to hers. Kingdom Hearts had him first. Wrong. Final Fantasy actually came out in, uh, I believe it was 2001. Kingdom Hearts came out in 2002. But, I mean, they're all by Square anyway, so... It's no big deal. It don't matter. It is a really good name, though. I, I like that name. But we have another thing that we're gonna... Um, really important to really think about. So, we know that Titus is from Xanarkand, and Sin did attack it. But Riku is now telling us that that happened a thousand years ago, and Xanarkand... Which she's, she knows of, is in ruins. And it has been in ruins for a thousand years. So, presumably we've time-traveled? Something's going on here. You said... You play Blitzball? Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Oh. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Yevon? Who's this Yevon? Alright. Holy place? Xanarkand? My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! <laughs> uh oh. Not this again. Shin! Shin and Musa! Etonic! Etonic! They should just let him inside. Okay. Um, so I think that's actually a great place to uh, to kind of leave off the uh, the show for today. Um, so thank you guys for those of you who have been here with me today. I know uh, when we were just doing this on four play favorites, this is about where we were leaving off. But um, next time I'm gonna make sure to do this a little bit longer. Today was again more of a testing uh, phase, just for my own uh, sake, really. Uh, so thank you guys for those of you who, tu who tuned in. It's an hour of pure joy. I certainly think so. Um, yeah, 
I can't wait to uh, to be doing this game. This game means just the world to me, and I'm so excited to be able to just share it with more people, share my appreciation for it, and go back on it maybe one day, you know? So, uh, thank you guys for those of you who have been here. Um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, guys.